Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can use crystallization to separate a soluble solid from a mixture. Okay, if we start off with the use then, as I've said, it's separating a soluble solid from a solution. So for example, we're taking salt and we're removing it from water. In this instance, our salt is our solute, our dissolved solid, and our water is our solvent, the liquid the solid is dissolved in. So how does crystallization work? Nice and simply, when you heat that solution, so you take your solution, you put it into an evaporating basin, as you can see on the right here, when you heat it, the water will evaporate, so it will turn into a gas. If you heat it down to about halfway and then leave it to cool, the rest of the water evaporates and it will leave behind crystals of your salt. The fact that it leaves crystals, that's why it's called crystallization. So if we have a look at this in action then, in my conical flask on the right, you can see that I've got a solution. That solution is salt water. And what I want to do is I want to produce my crystals of salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into my evaporating basin and I'm going to turn my Bunsen burner on. And as you can see, which I've sped up here, as that water evaporates, you start to get crystals of your salt forming, which you can see from this end part of the video here, I've got my white crystals of salt. And that really is everything that you need to know. So how could the examiner ask you questions on this? Nice and simply, I'm gonna show you one question, which is explain how to separate salt, which is soluble from water. Pause the video, have a go, see what you think the answer is, and then we'll go through in a minute. Okay, let's have a look and see how you've done. So how do you separate a soluble salt from water, which our salt is? Nice and simply, crystallization. So that's gonna get you a mark for getting the right technique. And then you need to explain it. So how does that work? So what do you do? You put your solution, which has got your salt and your water in, into an evaporating basin, and then you heat it. When you do that, what you want to do is evaporate about half of the liquid. So saying evaporate is gonna get you the next mark and then half of the water. And then what you do once you've evaporated half of it, you stop it, you leave it to cool or you let the rest of the water evaporate. When you do that, what are you left with? Your crystals of your salt. So you get one mark for saying leave it to cool and then one mark for saying crystals of salt will be left behind. And that really is everything there is to it for crystallization. The way the examiner will make this harder is they will give you a soluble and an insoluble salt. So for example, my review question here, how do you separate sand, which is insoluble, and salt, which is soluble from water? Think through the techniques that you've learnt. Filtration for your insoluble one, how does that work? Crystallization for your soluble one, how does that work? If you want to have a go, leave an answer in the comments. I can always tell you how well you've done. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.